it is <laughs> it is Buddha mind. It is absence. Okay. Are there you know look? Uh, are there uh, thoughts that still may occur? Yep, absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Um, in <laughs> it's I mean it's beautiful. This you know the the mind is profoundly beautiful. What it, like even what's coming out of you now, Alex? That that level of inquiry, it's gorgeous. But in in the absolute absence, none, none of it's necessary. None of it even happens. Yeah. Um, exactly. It's just not that 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 form, if you like, of you know wanting to connect the dots or wanting to know or even being just being curious and trying to work yeah. you know that, that that kind of stuff out that kind of stuff out mm. it may that, that you know that may still happen it may still be that and that's just how let's say if, if i just look at you alex yeah that's just how the functioning's happening there but it's yeah. just happening it's just happening the natural it's just you know um I remember, you know, for a while, uh, the only thoughts that were arising here, the only ones was incredible, was there's got to be an easier, sharper, more accurate, truthful, honest way of communicating this. Yeah, that's, that's the point, yes, exactly. Yeah. And that's all that, that was. Be, that's, that's, that, that's all that that's was. That's what's going on here, yeah. Yeah, and it's beautiful. It's it's you know, that's all that was going on, um, yeah. and it's not like I was responsible for that. That that was just what was arising, and in that, I had some profound insights. Profound, you know. That's why I call this creative. You'll hear me sometimes refer to the mind you know just how creative it is and it's not the mind that's creative it's come, all of that anyway <laughs> um <clears throat> that eventually died down but it still happens it still happens there just be real you know i have long long periods throughout the course of the day where it's just silent and then all of a sudden something will just pop <laughs> into, into the mind, yeah? some other thing gets revealed as to ha how to communicate this. And when it happens, when I'm, you like, say that, oh. <laughs> I'm like, wow. <"Whoa." laughs> when you say that, that the, those long periods of silence, it's a sort of trademark of, of awakening, or not necessarily. Yeah. Look, well it should be you know particularly if you look at and you'll know this yourself alex if we look at um the amount of dialogue that would go on in the mind throughout the course of the whole day pre-waking just See, in my case in in my case speaking from here there is still that sort of buzzing that noise but it's 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 still there it's still present but it's just seen as noise there's no interest in it but it mm. it still appears it it still manifests as a blah, 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 all the time right but there's just no particular interest it, it's realized that it's just noise yeah. now what realizes that well i'm going back to the, my first question could it be that part of the mind has now realized that it's just making noise and there's no interest going there that's i'm not bothered whether there's thought or no thoughts to be honest it's yes just, it's just a very very dis distant background noise you know, like, I'm not bothered about traffic noise here right now, unless I put a lot of attention on it. But right yeah. now, there's cars going by making a noise. I'm not really bothered about that. Yeah. 
That's what's but referred to. But, but yeah. I can't say, I can't hear it. I can hear it. Yeah, yeah. I'm just not bothered by it. Yeah, that's what's referred to as um, uh, freedom from the mind. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't, freedom from the mind doesn't mean complete absence of thoughts. Doesn't. Yeah. It's just freedom, freedom of thought, freedom from thoughts. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um, um, you know, I, I kind of, yeah. The experience here was so profoundly chalk and cheese, prof profoundly, and, and, and it was. Um, <clears throat> instigated i think if you like from that that period of time that you guys have heard me speak about before when uh, i just sat on my front veranda and nothing was happening like nothing was happening yeah. and then uh, around about the three month mark it was wasn't until then that the mind even started to stir again and the amazing thing uh, about that is it prior to the mind starting to stir again, yeah, there was still functioning happening. <laughs> Cups of tea were being made, showers were being had, getting up in the morning was happening, getting dressed was happening. Yeah, pulling out the chair onto the front veranda and sitting, that was happening. But all of that was happening without any thought process going into it whatsoever, zero. And then uh, it was like then when uh, mind, if you like, came back online, it came back online very, very, very slowly. Very, I can remember, you know, the, 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 one of the first thoughts I had was the acknowledgement of a tree that I just, that I saw off to the right of me. There was, there was an expression of the, the, the wonderment of that tree, like internally, you know, it was like, wow, oh my God. First thought I'd had in ages. Yeah, and then I looked over to the left and there was bushes and I noticed that. Then I noticed the concrete driveway and the bitumen and, 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 and there was uh, 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 a thought or a dualistic process that occurred to be able to speak about it, acknowledge it, if, if you like, almost uh, acknowledge to uh, true self as opposed to that little me self. <laughs> it's just an acknowledgement. Um, you know, it. it That sensory organ, um, I, I love it, <laughs> as I do seeing, hearing, tasting, touching, smelling. Like, I love it. It's amazing. But the only time it ever became a problem was when it was producing uh, a pseudo me. Then it became a problem. Now, here's the thing. <laughs> The only thing it became a problem for was the pseudo me, the one that wasn't there. So all the problem was imagined, purely, purely imagined, like literally imagine. It's, you know, while well, you've heard me say, you know, holy shit, nothing ever happened. And I know that's a hard one to, I know that's a hard one to get, but nothing, nothing ever happened. Not actually. It was just always mind's interpretation of stuff that it thought was happening or occurring. And all the happening and the occurring was happening in here. So. Um,
And then, you know, when the mind started to stir again, Alex, you know, that then there was, um, Jesus, how do you do that? It was, you know, I was going to try and use the terminology then it was like being reborn, but that's not it either. Um, freshly, freshly awoken might be, no, 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 I know that might sound a bit corny too, you know, but. Rebooted? Yeah, perhaps, yeah. Perhaps. Un unborn? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Yeah, oh, come uh, on. Yeah. Just, it might as well be coming from you guys as as it appearing here too. <laughs> it's all coming from the same source. 